What's up guys? Today we're going to do a little warm up called hip flow. We're just going to get those hips nice and loosened up so that you can do some squats, right? So we're going to start out with a figure four. So I'm going to sit here like this, right? I'm going to lean forward, touch the floor in front of me. We're going to go three times per side. That's two, two, three, three. Now we're going to do a little abduct, abduct. It's going to have a windshield wiper, right? So I'm going to go like three times this side, three, and then three times on this side, right? And then we're going to go back to that figure four, except we're going to come all the way up. You can either lean forward and come up, right? Or if you need to, you can push off the ground and kind of help yourself get up there, right? And get a good stretch at the top, really lean into it. All right? Oh. Yeah. Nice, happy, happy hips. Here's the third one. All right. Now what we're gonna do is a little squat with the internal rotation, right? So we're gonna get down in a nice deep squat, right? And if you can, you could also do this right up against a wall. You want the same hand to same side, not crossing the body, staying there. And then the other hand, reach back like you're gonna put it on the wall. There you go. Good stretch. Two, two, three, three. All right. Next, we're gonna go to something called a shin box, right? So I'm gonna come down, basically that same kind of squat stance. And then I'm gonna push my knees off to one side, right? Lean, kind of lean forward a little bit there, sitting on the front of my of my butt bone, <laughs> right? And then we're gonna come back across to the other side. It's a little bit of windshield wiper action, right? We're gonna do a second time. Second time over here. Third. And third. Now when we come back to that first side, now we're gonna add a little lunge into it, right? So make sure you have some space around you before you get into this one. We're gonna come back across. I'm gonna lunge, I end up being out of the picture a little bit here. Just coming forward into a lunge, right? And then I'm just gonna come back and put my leg just where it was, sit back down, windshield wiper over, and do the same thing on this side. Lunge forward, right? Come back, put my leg back where it was, sit right back down. We're gonna go three times per side on this as well. Second one, back over, and second one, and we'll do the last one. Come back over here. Now finally, we're gonna do one more, right? And so when we come back over to this side, I'm gonna do the lunge, right? And then my front leg is out there. I'm gonna take this back leg and just bring it up and do a squat, right? And then I'll just put it back, come back, come across, lunge, squat, back, back. Sounds a lot more complicated than what it is. You just gotta keep all the legs <laughs> in the right places. Right? That'd be great. I love doing this one any day that I'm gonna squat. You can also make a little bit of extra fun and hold a kettlebell while you do it. Right? And then this turns into a really fun flow. Right? But then your stabilizers are working even harder, trying to hold your body in place while you do that. That might be a good one for you to try out if you need a quick workout. Maybe we did three rounds there, right? You could do like five to 10 rounds with a kettlebell. You'd be good to go. It'd be a good workout. All right, so we're gonna end here. We're doing pigeon stretch, right? So this front leg, kind of run parallel here, or perpendicular rather, right? You're gonna lean forward. We'll sit here for a minute. You're really flexible, 
right? You need to add a little something to this. First of all, make sure you're really leaning into it and pushing your hips down, right? So you're not rounding your back, right? But then you can take this opposite arm. So it's, this leg is straight back, my right leg's back. I'll take my left arm and I'll lean back. I can grab my foot there, right? And then really lean into this elbow. And then you're stretching both legs. I feel really good, right? I really like adding that one in. If you can, just go with your regular pigeon, right? Now we're gonna switch sides. We'll hit the other one, right? Again, we'll just sit down in here. And again, if you want to, I paused a little bit just to make sure both sides got the same amount of everything. You can take opposite arm, back across the body, grab that leg, and really lean into that elbow. And again, you'll get a good, good stretch in both. You'll really feel that in your, your quads of the, of the leg that's back as you pull that. All right. All right, that's about finishing that up. So you should be good to go. Nice and loose and limber to do some squats. Thanks for joining us here. Have a great lift.